one thing to consider is how do we set the seeds up that we're planting for the best chance possible? There is actually a microbiome inside a seed, like there is a microbiome inside of our bodies. The more that we can set that seed up with a beneficial microbiome, then the better the germination, the better the rooting depth, and the better the quality of the plant that's actually growing. So again, if you can find some really good quality finished vermicast uh, or compost, we can use this to bioprime or seed coat our seeds very cost effectively with a very, very small amount of material. So as you can see here, I have some compost, I have a little bit of molasses, and I have some, in this case, raw milk. This process is known as a natural Korean farming method. And typically what you would take would be something like 12 pounds of compost. You would use one tablespoon of molasses and one cup of milk, and we're gonna mix that all together. I've got slightly less in here, so I'm just gonna measure that out for a smaller rate of compost. So I'm putting in like a quarter of a tablespoon of molasses into this material. And I'm also going to put in a quarter of a cup of milk, right? What that's going to stimulate is the beneficial microbiology. So we talked about lactobacillus being really beneficial. Um, and the molasses is gonna stimulate a lot of bacteria as well. We have fungi already in this compost. We're gonna stir that, mix it really good. Um, for larger scale operations, you probably have a concrete mixer or something like that. We're gonna turn this over and make ourselves a nice slurry. If you need to add some water, which um, you probably do, you wanna be able to create something that will be like a batter. So we want it to be able to pour but not too runny, right? You don't want this all running away. So I'm gonna mix this up, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and we'll add that to the seed. Now we've got that compost with your molasses and your milk, you're gonna to wanna to turn that almost into like a batter. So think pancakes, right? So we're gonna add quite a lot of water into this. It's gonna be quite liquidy um, and we want that to be moving really well and mix that up or mix it in your concrete mixer, which is how I would normally do this. Um, and then we're gonna use some of this and only a small amount. So typically we'd be using one pint of this uh, compost batter to about 22 pounds of seed. And we're gonna mix that by hand first and then we're gonna add that to like 250 pounds of seed, right? So we only need a pint of this batter for a huge amount of seed, okay? And a little goes a long way. So normally I would do one pint of this compost slurry mix that you've made, the batter, into 22 pounds of seed. So we're not using a lot at all. So we're gonna mix that into this seed mix here, get a good coating. Um, it gets rid of some of that moisture and then we're gonna add that into our larger seed mixer um, and then that stops it clumping, right? So we've got that material that's nicely mixed. Then we're gonna mix that into our main bag of compost if you have the equipment that enables you to seed this wet, then go ahead, just put this seed down with this compost mix directly into the ground. What we then wanna see is that those seeds um, germinate quite quickly. You often find there's more root growth beneath the ground than often the plants above the ground. So make sure that you dig a hole and take a look. Um, and what we wanna see in that process is what we call the bio-priming of that seed and the beginning development of the rhizosheath. So we see these little um, seeds here, these wheatgrass seeds are, they've got soil stuck to them, they're a good dark color, they've got nice root development, and that is the result of being, um, having bio-priming actually applied to those seeds before they were sown.